Hi, this is Eric, and today we're going to be going through a couple of MetQ tips. Directional distance, custom angles, dim styles, and plotting. First, we're going to check our drawing settings. Make sure that polar settings are set to 45 degree angles. Right click, go to settings, and make sure polar tracking is turned on. Next, we'll check the e-snap settings. Here, we just want to keep it simple, endpoint, midpoint, and intersection. Next, we're going to start the line command. And using directional distance, we make sure we're on the snap angle. Hold our cursor, and then type in two feet down. We'll do the same thing here. Make sure we're on the snap angle and type in, for instance, five feet. Again, we'll go down, hold the cursor and type in three feet, and then same thing here. So this way we can input our construction lines very quickly. Next, we'll load up MetQ piping module. We'll check our type, the size, click once on the straight fitting, and then choose view draw. We'll select the straight piece here, and notice uh, our endpoint snaps and our intersection snaps. And as we snap over to all the endpoints, the elbows and the straight pieces are put in. So next we're going to enter in a custom angle. We'll enter in 28 and a half degrees. And we'll choose this top fitting here. Select the intersection and then rotate it zero degrees. Okay, now we need to rotate the snap angle to match the 28 and a half degrees. So we simply enter snap angle and then we enter in two points along the midpoint of that pipe. As you can see the cursor will change. Now we just simply turn on ortho mode and enter in another construction line. Again, we can use directional distance, and we'll make this one three feet. We'll turn it, and we'll go up another two feet. So now we can come back to MetQ and do the same as we did earlier, and just snap over the endpoints of these construction lines. MetQ puts in the elbow, and now we can come back and we can straighten it out by putting another 28 and a half degree fitting in. A, a quick note about this arrow, the arrow basically allows you to select two points for the angle, but in our example we're just using the tab. We're not using that. So we enter the midpoint and we rotate it. Uh, and here you can see that it did not rotate in correctly. So let me just show you a real quick tip. Um, if we highlight the whole fitting, it selects as one piece, then pick the grip there on the end, and then press the space bar once. We can easily move it into position. Here's another tip. After selecting the grip, you can also press the space bar multiple times so we continue on using MetQ and directional distance. We'll go up two feet, and then over three feet, and then we'll press enter. So now that we have MetQ done, let's go ahead and start dimensioning. Up in the top menu bar, you'll notice two icons. One is the dim linear, and then the other is dim style. To the right of the style drop down. 
So let's start one dimension. But about units and precision, um, we can actually go into the dimensional style menu um, and choose the precision that we need. And here I'm just using quarter inch precision. So next I wanted to show you, if you look at the uh, center line of the piping, you'll notice that it looks like one continuous line. In order to change that, we'll go into LT scale and set this to a smaller value. Because we're so zoomed into the drawing, we need to change this. So here I've set this to 0.5. Now we're ready to plot and we choose the print area and window and then we select the print area to plot and we just simply put a window around our drawing this is a really quick way to generate a plot layout if you're not too concerned about actually putting a scale on the drawing once it's printed and then up in the upper left you'll notice a print button so you can print it out to a PDF or to your plotter. So I hope this has helped and feel free to call us at 888-271-7121. MECQ is available for both AutoCAD and LT and is also available as a standalone called AbbeyCAD. Have a great day.